Welcome to EdsGuitarLessons.com. I'm going to do a little uh, demo on uh, using the Fuse software with a uh, Mustang 1 amp. Uh, going into more of uh, how do you use the, uh, the software itself and adding uh, stomp boxes, but also uh, using the Dram Track machine that's inside uh, Fuse software. So, of course, you got to have a USB, okay, and it's got to be plugged into your computer. Then you turn it on. You turn on the, uh, the uh, Mustang, okay. You should hear noise over here. You want to hear da-da. If you hear something less than that, you probably got to reload your software, uninstall it, re reload it in, okay. So you want to hear the da-da uh, sound uh, coming from there. That means it's... It's a good fit that it uh, accepted that software. Okay, uh, if it's da 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 something like that, uh, an added note means something's wrong. Okay, so um, anyway, I'm going to go in now and I'm going to open up the software and um, in here and it's right here the Fuse software. Can you see my finger there? Okay, so. Uh, <clears throat> A lot of times it'll be show, it'll show that it's loaded here or loading uh, on your USB uh, once you turn on the Fuse software. Uh, <clears throat> and usually it, uh, a lot of times, especially the first time, it'll say software is ready to use. I just used it last night to kind of go over and uh, review some of this kind of stuff. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I do have a guitar connected into my fuse. Well, and there's the fuse loading up right now. And uh, let's see. Okay, it's loading. Uh, takes a little while. Uh, it also will sometimes ask you in the middle of it all, do you want to, uh, oh, I must have hit the window. Uh, if you want to uh, upload firmware at this time, and I would recommend go ahead and doing that. Uh, <clears throat> as you shut, it'll have you shut the uh, fuse uh, or the uh, Mustang one on and off. Uh, to go into firmware mode on the uh, fuse software, if you're going to download, um, firmware you have to shut it off hold down the save button while you're turning it on and that puts it in the download mode make the screen bigger here this is the fuse software okay first thing you want to notice is down here uh, you can't see it in the screen so you have to zoom out a little bit down here on the uh, bottom left hand corner okay there should be a green light and it does say connected to Mustang if, you're, if it doesn't recognize the Mustang, that'll be red. Uh, you can also uh, notice over here on the uh, right side, um, a red light, because I'm not logged in. You can log in, go to the Fender website, and get all the um, download files uh, to do some jamming, uh, the jam tracks, okay? So right now, uh, it's just basically a Fender Basement amp, okay? And, um, and I just wanted you to hear the sound. Okay. You can control everything from here by adding more gain, more volume. Turning the gain down and the volume up. Okay. Okay. 
So you select your amps from the right hand side here, Fender Basement Amp. Uh, you can choose a Metal 2000. accordingly okay so uh, you can do that now I thought we had something here I guess not okay so um, you can of course add a stop box if you want okay uh, so you put that on you can put an overdrive something a little quieter just for the sake of uh, let's go to uh, like, uh, the left reverb ah. okay okay so now that we've got an amp you can add of course one two three four different stomp boxes modulations uh, reverb tremolo uh, on these that's why that's blackened out here up, up there is because you can add it so they they let you have that option so they said they blackened or grayed these out so if I wanted to add a band um, I basically hit band and then I'm gonna put mp3 and hit ok and these are things that I downloaded from um, the uh, the uh, site um, on the community down here, the uh, Fender website, okay? Uh, there's hundreds of them there, and you can download a bunch of them. Uh, then I go into Media Library, and you can see here's where they are, okay? Um, and these are the ones I downloaded. These are the ones that I saved, uh, presets that I saved that I liked. Um, you know, a certain preset, uh, whether it's an amp, and different stomp box combination is up on the top on the bottom is the bands uh, everything from drum tracks to um, you know just it sounds just like a band so if um, so if I clicked on that cool phase groove and then to get back to this screen you just basically toggle back and forth on presets this is all your presets and band tracks and then you toggle back and forth to go back to your original screen uh, now it did pull in that file that I wanted which was cool phase and all you do to jam along with this now you got your own jam track you just hit start and that's what comes out of the speakers of the um, of your computer uh, I've been asked can you make that come out of your amp I, I would imagine you could uh, by having a some type of a jack system that went into your headphones of your computer speakers and uh, if you had two quarter inches or eighth inch then you can go into the, uh, the mp3 slot of the of the um, Mustang yeah but I like this better because uh, I'm playing the guitar out of my Mustang and these are coming out of my computer speakers and they sound better to me, I mean, you know. And you just jam along with it, you know. It's a jam track, so you use...
then you stop it, okay? Uh, and uh, you can go back here and uh, a drop down menu will show up that shows you all the ones that you downloaded and uh, you can uh, switch it to a different sound. Okay. Stop it. These are the four that I have in my uh, presets. Um, and um, you can get them from uh, Fender's uh, website when you uh, log in to the community there. There's a bunch of them in there. So there you have it. That's how you use the jam tracks. Um, with the Fender Fuse software. You can still change amps uh, anytime you want. You want something else. You want a supersonic. You want a Vox. Uh, there's your Vox amp. Got that chimey sound of a Vox. This guitar is out of tune. I apologize, but I'm going to tune it right now. Because I'm just demoing so you can hear or, or see how that you can use the uh, the Mustang One uh, and get more out of it by using these band tra uh, these jam tracks, okay? And so you have all those. Uh, I think this one's just drums. There you go. So it gives you an idea of what kind of stuff's in here. So it's an added feature. You got a Mustang amp with all the different sounds, amp emulations, and then you have these jam tracks that are in here that you can download from the Fender website. So very versatile, very useful for jamming, for practicing, practicing your scales, finding the right songs that you can practice the type of music you like, and the scales. Uh, so that should, uh, uh, you know, it, it's a very useful tool for you as a guitarist to learn how to play and to uh, be able to uh, use this equipment and get the most out of it. So I hope that helps you. Thanks for watching AskGuitarLessons.com. God bless. Have a great day. Take care. Bye.